In this video, I'm gonna give you over 101 different habits you can track, things that you can keep tabs on if you are really looking to improve your life in a whole bunch of different categories. Now, last week I talked about important apps or programs that are out there for habit tracking, but honestly, the method that you use is not important. What is important is that you identify concrete, measurable things that are moving you in the direction of habits you want to build or habits you want to change, things you want to avoid, and ultimately the goals and the dreams that you have set forth for yourself. We are going to talk about so many different things, so many different categories. I can't wait to get into this, so give this video a thumbs up and let's go. For those who don't know, I'm Amber with Solutions for Simplicity and my mission is to equip you with actionable tools and strategies to free up more time for who and what you love. I want to help you live a simpler, more purposeful and productive life. I make weekly videos on planning, prioritizing, productivity, time management, and that elusive thing we call work-life balance. So subscribe if you are new. And then I want to mention that there is a timestamp table of contents down in the description so that you can see exactly where we're gonna go in this video and jump around as it might be applicable to you. You can track your mood, your daily happiness or life satisfaction score, your stress level, the number of hours you slept, the quality of your sleep, how consistent your sleep was in terms of going to bed and getting up at the same time each day, your energy level at different periods throughout the day, whether it was a good or a bad day. If you're a woman, you should be tracking your monthly cycle. You can track your social media usage, your screen time. Did you unplug from devices? Did you indulge in self-care activities? And if so, which ones? Did you get fully dressed? Did you brush and floss your teeth? Were you on time to all appointments and meetings today? Did you say your prayers or meditate? How many podcasts did you listen to? How many pages did you read? How many books did you read? How many words or pages did you write? How much time did you spend learning a new skill like playing the piano or speaking a foreign language? Did you write in your journal? How many things did you say no to? You can also track inspiring or motivating quotes. How much did you spend on groceries? How much did you spend eating out? How much did you spend shopping? What was your income? What are your account balances? How much money did you save this week or this month? How much money did you give away to charity? What percentage did you tithe? How much did you invest? What was the return rate on those investments? Did you have a no spending day? What's the total amount of debt that you owe? What's your amount of credit card debt? How much student loan debt do you have? Did you pay your bills on time? Did you leave a clean kitchen before bed? How many loads of laundry did you do? Did you make your bed in the morning? Did you water your plants? How many minutes did you spend tidying the house? How many things did you declutter today? Did you work out? What distance did you walk or run? How many steps did you take? What was your time spent working out? How much do you weigh? What's your body fat percentage? What are your body measurements? How many pounds have you lost or gained? How many inches have you lost or gained? How many repetitions were you able to perform? You can rate the ease or difficulty of the exercises you were doing and how many calories you burned in a particular activity. You can track the number of calories you eat. You can track macros, your water intake, the amount of alcohol you consume, how much you smoked, how much sugar you ate, how many cups of coffee or soda you drank, the number of servings of fruit or vegetables that you ate. Did you remember to take your vitamins or medications? How much time did you spend outdoors? Did you eat at home or go out? 
You can track any physical discomfort symptoms. Did you have a headache? Were you nauseous? Did you have indigestion? You can keep track of your sick days. You can keep a food diary. And did you try a new restaurant or recipe? Did you get your homework done? How many hours did you spend studying? Did you attend class? How many classes have you missed? What are your assignment scores and overall grades? Are they showing progress over time? You can track your kids' moods. Did you read to your children? Did you play a game today? Did you do a fun family activity? Did you have family dinner time? Did you have a real conversation with a friend or family member? You can rate how close you feel with different people in your life. And did you have intimate relations today? Did you smile at a stranger? Did you show a random act of kindness? You can keep track of things you're grateful for, the gas mileage you got in your car, the last time you had maintenance done on your car, a bucket list of all the things you want to do before you die, a wish list of the things you would love to have, gift ideas for what you want to give other people. For anyone that is an aspiring entrepreneur or YouTuber, you can track your revenue and further break that out by income stream. You can track your expenses, especially how much you paid in taxes. You can track your ad spend, the number of products you sold, your remaining inventory, the number of products you developed, the number of people on your email list, and what percentage of those subscribers open your emails and click on any links within them. You can track your social media followers per platform, but remember, it's never about these vanity metrics. It's really about having an impact and serving other people. You can track the number of likes you receive, the number of blog posts you made, the number of Instagram or Facebook posts you made, the number of YouTube videos you made, the total number of watch hours you have accrued, your most views per video, your most views per single day, the total number of views on your YouTube channel, your click-through rate, and your average view duration. Those are just a sample of some of the things that you can track in order to see how you're doing across different areas of your life. If you have other ideas, anything I missed, then let me know in the comments. I would love to compile as long a list as we can. And if there are specific things that you are going to start tracking now, also let me know in the comments because I would love to help support you and hold you accountable. Jump straight into these other videos to get my top tips on how to set good goals and really get your life together. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you back next week. Have a great day.